Now, there's a few uh, system development life cycle aspects, factors, um, principles, suggestions, uh, just to address and clean up before we get into the, uh, uh, the development methods using the uh, system development life cycle. Uh, so, um, uh, number one, do not develop with real data. Uh, I think I said this before, I will probably say it again. Um, this is, this is dangerous. Um, now, I, I have to be careful, I suppose, with that, because you want the, the system that you are developing to be real, to respond, uh, appropriately to the real world, to, uh, properly deal with real data. Um, but... You know, don't just take a, a backup of your actual data and, and use that for your development methods. Um, you, you are going to make mistakes if you do that. Um, number one, uh, you know, if you are doing that, put a lot of work into sanitizing it. Making sure that you are, uh, you know, eliminating any identifiable information. Um, <sighs> I do not, uh, don't develop and don't test with real data. Um, uh, again, uh, um, uh, one of the, I mean, there's, there's many, there's so many examples of, of why this is a bad job. And, uh, but just, just one was uh, a uh, um, health office uh, that the uh, development people thought that it would be amusing to test a new system that was uh, involved installing a high-speed printer um, and uh, they thought it would be amusing to test it uh, generating a fake letter um, that uh, would inform people that they had tested positive for HIV. Um, that, uh, uh, you know, that was a fake letter, but they used real data to generate the run. Now, they assumed, number one, that the uh, printer had not yet been delivered, and number two, that it had not been connected to the system. In fact, it had been delivered, it had been connected. And so they generated 11,000 letters to clients informing them uh, that they had tested HIV positive and all those letters got mailed out. Uh, so, you know, you can imagine the, the furor that that caused. And, you know, he, you just... That is, as I say, only one example of many, many, many examples of why this is a really bad idea. Uh... So, I realize that I may have overstressed this one particular point, but um, it's such a bad idea that uh, it needs to be uh, probably overstretched, stressed, uh, emphasized. You know, remember this. Do not do this. This is a bad idea. Um, as I keep on saying, complexity is the enemy of security. I know, believe me, I know, that we um, exist in a, an unfortunately complex computing environment, that information technology is complex, that our operating systems, our preferred operating systems are uh, complex and monolithic, um, you know, I really would rather that we had stuck with Unix or, you know, some uh, systems like that. Uh, Multics that uh, would have given us 
a lot more security protections. Um, but, you know, we don't. And, you know, as, as simple as possible, given the installed base, maybe the principle that we have to go after. But, you know, simplicity uh, wherever possible. Um, make it simple. Make it small. Um, you know, we're, when we get into the types, uh, uh, the... Uh, well, the the preferred uh, development type these days is Agile. And the, the single greatest benefit of Agile is simplifying the idea. Um, you have to, you know, for an Agile development scheme, you've got to have uh, something that's small enough, simple enough to be described on a 3x5 card. You know, if you can't do that, um, you you can't do the Agile system. So, uh, simplicity, 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 wherever you can. Um, a lot of times, go back to the principles that we looked at in security architecture. Uh, and, uh, again, you know, the, the simplicity uh, principle there, um, the various and sundry uh, aspects that we have uh, already looked at in, in that domain. Um, so, um, I know, you know, complexity and distributed computing in the cloud, uh, client server, you know, all of these uh, architectures that, that we really rely on in uh, our development these days and and in in our systems overall uh, are all very complex systems you know uh, simplify as much as you can uh, and try and do that and uh, again we'll we'll talk some more uh, as we get into the the different types of development using the system development lifecycle